Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue, it's Toledo, Ohio, 43617-419-531-6097, JC's Comics and More.com. And check out the Facebook page in the description along with Video Game Underground and Checkmate Games. We've got comics to get counted out. Uh, there was a small box I went ahead and cracked open just for uh, just to make things move a little bit faster. So we got this Myths and Legends hardcover. These books are so chalked full of great information. And what the hell's the price on this thing? 25 bucks. You'll get your $25 worth of, of reading pleasure in that. Don't worry. Uh, Berserk, the Deluxe Edition, Volume 6. I know somebody that's going to like it, and that's not terrible either. We got in this here I'm excited about. It's always nice to have these back in stock. The Crow Special Edition by James O'Barr. This came out. I was talking to a guy that was just in here just a few minutes ago. Gosh, like 25, 27, 28 years ago. If you've never read The Crow, if you've never read The Crow, do yourself a personal favor and buy it and read it. If you've watched the movie, the movie's good. This is much better. Uh, we've got this item here also. This is, I think this must be a 1 in 50 variant on this. Uh, Ten of Swords Destruction. This is the final part. You get to find out how Professor X uh, betrayed everybody. Okay. Let's get this thing cracked open so we can get the other one. I've got three of them. Let's see if we can burn through all three in one video. Right. We should start a drinking game also. But uh, look at that there. There's a little bit of heaven on earth, wouldn't you say? That is cover C. I did see. You saw too. Uh, Exo Man of War number two, cover B. First issue we've had since, I think, March of that. Finally. Here we've got Wolverine. Uh, black, white, and red. This is... I don't know why I've got more of these. This isn't the second printing, I don't think. But uh, perhaps another variant they decided to come out with. Uh, Wolverine, black, white, and red, number one. That's a variant cover. Um, so they may have decided to release another one. Here we have... This is X-Men. This is the Stormbreakers cover of Kitty Pride and Lockheed. Here we have Excalibur. This is a variant edition. This is uh, part 21 of the 10 X of Swords. So you got Excalibur and that's issue number 15 right there. Uh, I Walk with Monsters. This is cover A. I got my one copy there. Uh, I had somebody call asking about copies. So I mean, if I had copies, I only have one cover A, and I probably only ordered one of the B and C as well if I did buy them. The plot, number seven. We've got Monstrous. One of two. This is a two-issue miniseries, talk stories. The Witcher, number one. This is cover B. Here we've got another Unsacred. This is cover B. And look at that. That's a devil and a couple of bees there. See? You got a couple of bees. Be good. I know who's thinking. I know what you're thinking. Uh, chapter 1, The Red. This is uh, part of Heavy Metal. Absolutely no reason why the logo can't be on top, but we have, we have that first issue. Spawn, this is cover B of Spawn 321 or 312. This is a takeoff on the Amazing Spider-Man, I believe, 700 cover, where it had all the creators' names. There's supposed to be a Spawn local comic chef they cover in here also. So we'll have that as well. Uh, and there is uh, going to be multiple local comic shop day uh, issues in here. 
Vampirilla cover uh, A on issue 15. Here we have X-Ray Robot. This is cover A on issue 4 by Mr. Mike Aldred. This is uh, issue 245, 245 of uh, Fantastic Four. This is a True Believers dollar issue. They say it's a King in Black issue because it has Franklin Richards. We're trying to turn everything into King in Black. Dune. Dune issue number two. Cover A on Dune number two. Make sure I've got a couple of people that inquired and wanted copies of that. So I make sure that they are taken care of. Ah, Exosword's Destruction. Uh, this is number. This is the local comic shop day edition of that. Right there, local comic shop day. We will have these available for sale tomorrow. I encourage people to come out and support their local their local comic shops, especially those of us that have ordered and supported local comic shop day. Uh, this is cover A of Rick and Morty Ever After, number one. This is a one-shot. This is, again, this has to be number number two, right? Well, this is issue one. Here's another uh, Wolverine uh, black, white, and blood cover. Let me see. That's a variant. I I'm gonna have to yeah, I'm gonna have to look in some more and see what exactly they did. Maybe they misprinted some stuff. Maestro number four, uh, Dale Keown cover. Maestro has been a hellishly good ride. Here we've got some more of those Wolverine covers. Shop Stewart's got his previews uh, right there. Here's these are one in ten variants with Miles Morales. Got issue number two of this. It seems like it's been well over a month since this has come out, but this is cover A, Scumbag number two. Looks like a buddy of mine, and I mean that in the best possible way. This is Spawn 312, cover A. Look. Almost like, looks like the same guy. Here is Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, number four. It's a five-issue series. Cover A. Conan, the Barbarian. Issue 16. It's celebrating 50 years of Conan at Marvel. Werewolf by Night, number two, cover A. First issue sold okay. I hope the second issue sells just as well. Sympathy for No Devils, issue two from Aftershock. Here is, I think this is the one in 10. This is the one in 10 variant on Vampirilla, number 15. Sold one of these earlier today. Colonel Weird, Kaz, Cosmogog. Uh, cover B on that. Sonic the Hedgehog, cover A on Bad Guys. Angel and Spike, number 16. That's the cover A. This is cover D on Unsacred. There's a couple of Ds right there. My comics in order. All right. So we had a couple more copies of Maestro at the bottom, and there is a Sonic Bad Guys cover B on issue three. And the Sonics that were at the bottom or in the Maestros got a couple of damaged copies there, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me. Okay. 
here is the local comic shop day edition for uh, for Spawn. And it's got all the shops on there uh, that help support local comic shop day. And so right there and get your copy and look for look for where we're listed at on here. I'll probably end up pausing this and I'll show you where it's at here in a little bit. But we've got that. Here's Nail Biter Returns number seven. Sun Eater number two from Heavy Metal. Here's Spawn 311. This is a guys, this is a second printing. These are still first printings of Spawn 311. Wow. I did not expect those. I think they sent these out because we were supposed to, because they, since they had changed up and that these are cover A's, that these are supposed to be cover C's. So I think that's why we got those. These are cover A's of the Colonel Weird, number two. It's uh, Shang-Chi, number three. This is the Phoenix variant on that. Here is Robin Hood, Justice, issue five, cover D. There's no double Ds there. We got ourselves a set of triple Cs. I mean, triple, triple Ds. There you go. But we've got those set aside for some great people. Here we've got, this is the local comic shop day issue of Dune. A nice, look at that, nice foil cover. I bought some of those. I did not buy a lot of those. This reprints Iron Man number 150 with uh, Dr. Doom and Iron Man back in the days of Camelot. And you got Morgan Le Fay in there uh, creating her mischief. This is uh, Ultima, Ulta. Auto, auto know, however you pronounce that. I'm gonna butcher it every time. Get used to it. But that's issue three. Here we have. This is Department of Truth issue three. This is cover B, because you know it because the logo is front and center. So there's no, uh, there's no mistaking. I'm gonna pause this quickly. Okay. Found. Uh, we were actually on the back. I didn't. I wasn't good enough to make the front, but I'm in good uh, good company. Torpedo Comics is back here. You got Vault of Midnight, and they actually cut to, cut my shop off. JC's Comics are more your pop culture sup. So they they cut off my er uh, super shop or super store. JC's Comics more your super uh, store there. And here we got Chew Number Five. Here we have cover cover C of Robin Hood Justice. So we've got that. I've got a shelf copy going out. Here's X-Men Destruction. This is, gosh, this is like cover X or Y or T or Z. Uh, but that's issue one of that. That's one of the many variants that we'll see. Rick and Morty Go to Hell Trade. Here's... Another Robin Hood Justice number five. Got cover A. There will be a shelf copy on that. Invincible number one. This is a local comic shop day edition on that. Exo Man of War number two. That is cover A on Exo Man of War number two. I Make Boys Cry. This is cover A on that. A couple, got a couple copies of that. Here's something a lot of people seem to be waiting on. Something is killing the children. Issue one. This is a local comic shop day edition on that.
more copies of of that. Okay, Department of Truth number three. Cover A of Department of Truth number three. Put those with the twos. Here's my previews order form. Here's Unsacred. Cover A of Unsacred. Here's George R.R. R. Martin's Class of Kings, number nine. This is the variant cover, the Ryan Otley cover on issue four of Maestro. Let's see, we've got some more copies of cover. This is uh, the cover D of Spawn. 312. This is a cover B of I Walk with Monsters. White Widow, issue 5. Cover A of White Widow, number 5. The lenticular covers did not ship this week, so hopefully they'll ship next week. Got Star Wars, Dr. Afra number 6. Almost thought that was Firestar. Bleed Me Dry. This is issue five. Mega Man Fully Loaded, issue four. Dark Darkone, issue two. Fantastic Four Antithesis, number four, by um, Mark Wade. Alan Davis, uh, or uh, Neil Adams and Mark Farmer. This has been a fun, fun book. There is only one cover on that. Here we have the retro cover of Savage Dragon number 254, The Vicious Circle Triumphant. Star Wars Adventures number two, cover B from IDW. Here we have a, uh, another variant cover on X of Swords Destruction number one. <laughs> I think those are one in ten variants. Here we've got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or Mighty Morphin. Um, this is the local comic shop day edition on that undiscovered country number 10 and that is cover a on that i'm going to pause this quickly okay before i crack this box open the spawn i went back and looked at it i thought it was the same as this one here which was cover b but this is cover D. This is the uh, the variant that was sent out. So I have these at a different price, but we did got those. Those are based on how many I ordered as far as how many I was able to obtain. All right, let's see we get through a little bit of this box. Here we've got the 1 in 10 variant on... Uh, Oh gosh, uh, Unsacred. Yeah, that's the one in 10 variant on Unsacred. Uh, the Unkindness of Ravens, issue 3, cover A. Here we've got Star Wars Adventures 2, cover A. Robin Hood Justice, issue 5, cover B. Philadelphia, issue 10. Cover A of Philadelphia, number 10. Wayward Sons, issue 2, cover A. The Witcher, this must be... Ah, this is the local comic shop day edition of The Witcher, number 1. 
the local comic shop day logo there. Department of Truth, issue three. This is the one in 10 variant. Keiju score, issue one from Aftershock. This is a uh, Dark Khan. This is cover A. We saw the the foil cover earlier. This is must be cover. This is cover C of Scumbag issue two. Done like a movie cover. Just got one of those in. This is the Marvel free previews for items shipping in February. That's the back right there. We're going to pause this quickly. Oh, tomorrow? Okay. Yep. I'll probably pick that one up. Are you only getting one of those? Just in? getting one of those in, yeah. Okay. Yep. Could, could you hold that for me? Yeah, or? I can set that aside yeah. for you. Okay. Yep. Uh, here's the new Usagi Ujimbo Wanderer's Road uh, covers by Peach Momoko. Here's that Autumn Book, issue 3. That's the A cover. Here we've got X-Men 15, which is 10 X of Swords, uh, number part 20. going to pause this. Okay, we're back. Also, I just have to point out something else as far as who I saw. Again, good company. You might be able to not read that. But Hank's Comics, Hank's Comics and Manga in Amsterdam, my good buddy Hank over there. If you're over, over that area, stop in and see them. Tell them that, uh, tell them JC sent you, tell them James sent you. Uh, so, but in their 25th anniversary this year, good, good, good guys. Proud to call them uh, good friends of mine. Okay, we've got Green Hornet number four. That's cover A on Green Hornet. Here we've got Vampirella. This is the a uh, incentive cover. Take off on Detective 27. First Defense number two, cover A. Here we got Dared Evil. Dared Evil, issue number 24. He dares evil wherever he goes. This is cover A of Wayward Legends number two. Even though I thought we had a Wayward Legends. Wayward Sons. Okay, Wayward Legends, Wayward Sons. And they've got just way too much. Brooklyn Gladiator. I want to say this is issue two. Simon Bisley, man. The biz is back. Fishkill. Number two, let's see if people buy up this like they did the first one. First one, a lot of people want it. Devil's Highway number five, only one copy. Here we have Vampirilla, cover D. We've got a couple of Ds right there on issue 15. Green Hornet, this is cover B on Green Hornet number four. Undiscovered Country number 10. This is cover B on the Undiscovered Country. This is a Ten of Swords, X of Swords. Uh, these must be the 1 in 25 variants. Here is Monstrous uh, Talk Stories, Issue 1. This is the local comic shop day edition. Ordered very few of those. I only sell one copy of Monstrous. Monstrous. Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, Number 4. Got cover B. I think we got a couple of other Sabrina B's here. She's got a couple of B's right there. So we got a couple of Sabrina B's. Excalibur. This is another variant cover. I thought we already had a variant cover. Yeah, we did. But here's another variant cover on Excalibur number 15. Here's more variant covers on the Destruction Sword of X. That 
more of those, there's more, there's more, a little bit more for Santa Claus, a little bit more. Here we got Riptide, uh, uh, the Dracon, issue three, about a Loch Ness monster, creature, like. Dual Identity, number two, cover A. I think we're gonna end this right here. If you do, if you do like these videos, as always, be sure, be sure to share, be sure to, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, be sure to like, be sure to share, be sure to comment, and is your favorite store on there. Other than that, thanks for watching, hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving, and come back for the next video. Thank you.